All right, let's see. We need to open this up so we can figure out what size the PC board is. So we want to make a mechanical drawing of the PC board. Um, see, something to put this in so I don't lose them. the screw is stripped in this thing. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I think that one's stripped. Yep. Anyhow, this is the size of the PC board we need. So let's remove this old PC board. We're not going to need it. And um, figure out the exact size. And then uh, one step that we'll do is that we will figure out the size this is, where the mounting holes is and everything. And then we'll go into um, the KiCad and uh, lay out the mechanical portion. One of the layers of KiCad is going to be uh, the mechanical. Where do you route? Where do you put in the mounting holes and everything? That's on one layer of the PC board CAD program. So what we need to do though is we need to get that PC board out of there and things are in the way. A lot of times with these things get assembled and you actually just can't take them apart. Um, so we're going to need to take these screws out and unsolder the um, uh, coax connectors. They will come out, and then we will need to take these things out. And then we can take the board out. So uh, we will need to take, we need a bigger, bigger bit. Let's see here. Is this a good size bit? Yeah, that feels pretty good. All right, let's see if we can't heat up the solder and take these things out. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy, even left-handed. Maybe? <laughs> Come on, you can do it. There we go. All right, will the board lift out? It does. And there's one one wire attaching it. Take that out. All right, there's our board. So this is the board we're going to use as a template to figure out what size we need because it does fit in there, as you see. Um, and there's going to be some keep out areas, so we need to also document those. These, um, this is a conductive metal, and uh, we have to make sure that when we uh, have these little cutouts here in the aluminum, hogged out out of the aluminum, uh, we we make we make note of that so we don't put any components there and the board won't set down and also that portion of the board we probably want to have a clear no solder mask there so it makes better uh, it makes better ground contact um, so we can do better than this board so yeah that will be good um, this one just relied on the basically the screw to make the contact and we'll have a nice big area here. Now this is anodized aluminum so we can't count on it but I think it's still good practice to have that bare copper. All right so that's going to be our size that we need so we need to make a mechanical drawing now. All right so I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to draw around the board here and we will then put dimensions on it. And we want to have holes. All right, so there's our board. And we need to take some dimensions off the board. And how much did we have to wiggle around here? That's pretty tight. Maybe half a millimeter around, something like that. But. Uh, yeah. So we will draw some. Uh, we'll draw some dimensions here. Uh, the board is looks like forty-three. Three, and I believe it's square. Yep. 
and then we have the mounting holes which are looks like two and a half so mounting holes to the edge looks like about 2.5 Double check that. Uh, no, three. Let's see. Three, four, three, three point five. Three point five. Yes. All right, three point five. And they are square as well. And then the little chamfer is necessary. All right, so the chamfer is going to be about four by four. Let's see here. Yeah, so the chamfer is going to be about four point zero. All right, so there is our mechanical drawing. Um, Nope, nope, we're not done. We're not done. We need to have the locations of the uh, coax connectors, okay? Because we have to we have to include those on our board. All right, so there is a connector here and a connector here. And there is a connector here. All right, let's see if we can get some mechanical dimensions off for those things. Looks like 15. And then uh, the next one from the top of the board is also 15. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, so 15 and 15 is on that side. And over here, we also have 15. All right. So I think we have a fully specified PC board now. Um, so let's go to KiCad and uh, put in our outline of our board and try to find some, we might just need to just make pads here. Yeah, we'll just make some pads here for the, uh, for the connectors. No need for a footprint for those, I don't think. We'll just put a wide trace there. Take the silk screen off of it, or the uh, solder mask. 